Alright, welcome to another app review video. This week we're going to look at Sumo. Um, Sumo is trusted by many companies, including Airbnb, I think. I think Furs uses it. And it's really a common name in the e commerce world. So um, they have a Shopify plugin. I think it has something like 200 reviews at the time of uh, this recording. And it's, it's really a uh, a common app that we see with some of our clients but is it right for you so let's check out um, all of the the screenshots let's walk you through the app and see if it's a good fit for what you're trying to do my name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io we review Shopify app videos and let's just dive straight into it cheers all right so you probably already uh, noticed that most of Shopify stores, uh, if not all of them, use some kind of pop-up. Now, there is a reason for this. It's actually a pretty powerful marketing tool. Uh, pop-ups do work, even if you might think they're annoying. Uh, they're used for discount, growing your email list, announcements, and the most popular in recent years is the exit intent pop-up. You know, when you're trying to leave and it still pops up. Um, we already did three reviews on pop-up apps that you can check out in the description box or link to them uh, on the video itself. And today we are going to test another pop-up app, which is called Sumo. So you can find Sumo Boost conversion and sales app in the Shopify store, as I said. Uh, the app has a 4.3 out of 5 score, which is based on 200 reviews. So let's install the app and see what we can do with it. Uh, here it is. We're on the app dashboard. So if you have to do the same steps to get there, apparently it's uh, normal. Once you're on the dashboard, we are greeted with this already made pop-up. We want to do something else, so we will click on No Thank You. Um, let's create our first pop-up and we will go back to the dashboard items later. So go ahead and click on a blue button that says create form. A new window appears as you can see, but we didn't expect this. We thought it would look more like the preview pop-up editor, but this one's pretty neat as well. Uh, on the left, we have a list of items and on the right, we have a live preview, which is cool. Uh, the first step is to choose a goal for your campaign. So there are four options available, collect emails, uh, collect the visitor email address and or information. You can add a call to action to point the user to a specific URL just with a button. You can get social shares, which uh, allows you to get more social traffic through Twitter, Facebook, and or Pinterest. And you can do a collection info with custom code. So uh, collect visitors, email addresses, and or other information with custom HTML. Um, let's choose collect emails and click on form type. For the form types, we can choose between show a pop-up box in the middle of the page, a pop-up box that sticks to the bottom of the page, a form box that is in line with the content of the page, a pop-up in the middle of the page that is activated by a link click, show a form that covers the entire page, or show a bar that sticks to the top of the page. This is a tough choice, actually. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that one either. Maybe we can go with a scroll box pop-up and start designing it a little. Plenty of templates are available, which is pretty great. Uh, basically, you can choose the one that goes well with your team and you are off to the races. We will go with the default ones and see how much customization is available. Uh, this is so easy to use the editor. Just click an item on the pop-up and you can customize it directly. I must say that uh, editor is a bit, well, messy might not be the right word, but for the lack of a better one, let's use this. But with a little bit of practice, you can actually make some pretty cool artwork out of uh, your pop-ups. Also, if you click on success button here, you can also customize the success pop-up. Let's check what visibility tab offers. In this tab, you can control when your pop-up will appear. You can choose between the smart mode, which lets the app decide the best time and place to show the form, uh, the manual mode, which chooses where and when your uh, form shows. We will go with the first option to see how that works and jump to the success tab. 
In the success tab, you can control the success events and show your form is being tracked. First, we have to set email, which will be automatically sent to the person who signs up. Uh, click on the blue button that says add a new email and a new window appeared. Ta-da! Uh, you can add content upgrades, discount code, or custom image. Uh, this one looks okay, so we will save this by clicking on the blue button that says save the email. The last step is to connect the app to your favorite email service. Uh, damn, 36 total integrations are available. So let's publish this pop-up by clicking the button over here and we are back to the dashboard. From here you can get some basic analytics, a uh, pause form, rename, clone form, create a test, download the SCV or delete any form. Also there is the ability to A-B test uh, in the testing lab which is really important. You hear this all the time but not a lot of people actually A-B test. Just do it. The ability is right there. Um, and that kind of sums it up sums it up for the app. Uh, the app is definitely not bad um, and again it depends what your needs are. Personally not necessarily our favorite but it might definitely fit your needs. Make sure to check out the other app reviews we did for uh, pop-ups because we will link them right here uh, so you can check that out. This app does have uh, its benefits. Forms are really really easy to customize and it has the ability for A-B testing uh, and the autoresponder which is definitely a nice feature. Okay, that was it for today, people. Uh, Sumo, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a better idea whether or not this app is correct for you. Uh, please click on the like button if you enjoy it. Make sure to check out our other videos of apps we have reviewed before you install them to your team and clutter up your, uh, your team code. And if you need any development work, you know where to find us at ecomexperts.eio. And that's it. I'm out for today, guys. See you in another video. Thank <laughs> you.